When I came, I was, you know, it was, it was kind of overwhelming. The first time I went to cross-country practice, all the older students like came up to me and asked me questions. Um, and those were my first friends at Exeter. And those were also my role models. I gave just so that all the younger students can have the same opportunities and like same opportunities to grow as I did on, you know, teams or in dorms. It's hard to find some people in the dorm who don't do a club or don't play a sport. Um, or don't do well in school, it's all like, I would say that we have a very well-rounded group of students. The tight bonds between the upperclassmen and lowerclassmen help to like, keep structuring this well-roundedness. That cyclical nature of the older students helping the younger students and then they grow up and then it just keeps, like it's still a recurring pattern. Um, and I think that holds true to giving to the extra fund because hopefully the money that we contribute or further donate will impact the future generations of Exeter, which include my brothers and the younger members of my dorm. Yeah, we'll do a little pass back. Yeah. My rediscovery of music kind of stemmed from Miss Brewster, my violin teacher. She just dropped so much wisdom and so many just kind of stories about her love of music that influenced mine. For me especially, the creation of this bold has been so influential in my four years here, and it feels like it has definitely uplifted the extra music experience, and it makes me excited to come in here every morning to rehearse and every night to rehearse, and it's just a great space, and I want to give that experience and that opportunity to the new students as well, as small as my contribution may be. Yay! <laughs> that sounded so good! <laughs>